All of our airplanes, when they leave here, are dynamically prop balanced. We want the smoothest engine prop combination we can get. The canard in the nose is mounted directly to the engine mount in the airframe with no shocks. So consequently, the, the canard itself shows engine vibration. Now, the elevators on the tail have cables holding tension both directions, so the elevator is pretty solid. The elevator on the canard is pushrod actuated, so every place you've got a, a rod end bearing with a bolt going through, there's a little bit of movement. So the canard has just a little bit more movement than the elevator on the tail. Now, where it's bolted directly to the engine mount, it shows engine vibration. And in flight, what I'll do is, is say I'll kick the autopilot on at whatever altitude it is. I'll set up cruise power settings, say 22 inches and 2500 RPM. And then I'll just simply watch the canard and the vibration. And I'll run the RPM from 2500 down to 2300. And, and inevitably, within that range, there's a smooth spot where you'll see the vibration on the canard really smooth out. That's the place I tend to cruise the airplane because that's showing me the engine vibration is minimal at that point. So consequently, you know, next time you're up flying a canard equipped airplane, do that. Get your 2500 RPM. This goes for the IL-470 and the IL 550 both. Set up your cruise, set up your RPM at 2500, run it down to about 23, back to 25, hit the smooth spot. And the interesting thing about that is, is when I do that with the autopilot on, there's no change in airspeed, there's no change in pitch, there's no change in the flight profile at all. It's strictly engine RPM. So that shows you that there are smooth spots with these engines, and it varies a little from engine to engine. So take that up next time you're flying, do that little check, and you'll be happy.